I ended up spending 14 hours in this lounge. It wasn't expected, but I had a pleasant stay. Let's take a full tour. First thing I do, get a cart. When you're transferring, you want your back lights if you're going uh, carry-on only. All right, got a seven hour layover at Qatar Airport. Got to find a lounge or something to do for seven hours and I'm actually super sleepy right now. All right, got directions to where the business class lounge is. Straight ahead, right at Harrods, up the escalator. Got it. Oh, Will Smith. Oh, what? There's a tram inside the airport. The tram station, super cool. It's very lively here. It's like 1 a.m. too. And watch this. This is a very high-end airport. You can buy a car, I guess. Want a car? There's a car. Oh, there's Harrods. And that is the Qatar Business Lounge. According to this guy's directions, they were right. That it's like a 15-minute walk from where I was. Oh, Harrods is ice cream shop? Hmm. I always thought this was like some other type of fancy place. But it's fancy ice cream. I like ice cream, but I think that's going to be too expensive. Let's see what's free in the lounge. I said it's the Al Morjan Lounge. Oh. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Seven ten will start your boarding and our announcement inside. Excellent. Thank you. Oh, this is way better already than the Vienna Lounge. The Vienna Lounge was just a shared priority pass lounge that you can get into with Qatar Business Class, but this is going to be much better. Let me have your security. It's only available to Qatar Airways passengers, and if you're flying One World in business or first class, it's not for you. It's only for Qatar Airways passengers. One World Partners, they have to go to a different lounge. The Al Morjan Lounge is the biggest lounge I've ever been to. Local time, 1.26. Got seven hours. Pretty nice. They have a lake. And a smoking room, which is also pretty nice. Huge sitting areas. Oh, there's a game room in there. Smoking room. Just another quiet area. Oh, PS4. Prayer room. Ooh, dining area.
I went to the wrong restaurant. It was like a small auxiliary snack bar. Here's the real restaurant. Headed up now to check it out. Vegetable fried rice, pumpkin mashed potatoes. There's a stroganoff. Actually, still not much of a selection. I think it's because it's like 4 a.m. and not many people are eating. Switch. And, ah. Uh... Uh, it's not set up. Super cool though. That they even have a game room. Called. Just a business center. There's extra sleeping rooms in here. Oh, these are nicer. Within Doha Airport, they have their own tram system that gets you around to the other gates. So this is a lot like Bangkok where they check your tickets before you go inside and you board kind of early. So it be, it's a secure side, they check your tickets, then you wait for your flight. So when it's ready to board, you just get straight on. Fourteen hour layover complete. Doha to Hong Kong on Qatar Airways business class.